Stay tuned to find out how to make DIY snow globes. First, you'll want to take your mini figurines outside along with your lids that are going to be the base of your snow globes and spray paint them the color of your choice. I'm choosing gold. Once everything is dry, you'll begin to assemble your snow globe. I'm taking my figurines, which are a Christmas tree, carolers singing, and a well that was covered in ice, and I'm gluing them to my bases. I'm putting two of the figurines in one snow globe and one in the other. I am putting the well and the Christmas tree in the first snow globe and the caroler singing in the second snow globe. You don't need much hot glue. You just want enough to fully adhere the figurines to the base so that they won't end up floating away in your snow globe. Originally, I had this candle holder as the second snow globe, but I did not like the fit with the base. So I actually decided to not use this glass jar. I ended up using a plastic champagne flute. It's one of those that you just assemble if you're going to use them for a party. And this worked out way better. Next time I make these, this will be my choice for all of my snow globes. So as you see, I'm just adding a little bit of glitter to the champagne flute. And I'm also adding the snow. Now I couldn't find the snow that are actually used in real snow globes. And as you'll see in the end, this did not end up floating around like snow, but I live and I learn. So I would suggest you order some off of Amazon instead of using these foam pellets. So after I add the foam pellets and the glitter to the champagne flute, I also add the water, which is going to be an integral part of our snow globes. I pretty much filled it up and now I'm just adding hot glue to the rim of the flute so that I will be able to securely attach the base. Now you do want to add a good amount of glue. The only thing that I would suggest is once you're done and the glue is still wet, I would add glitter to the outside and that will help to disguise the hot glue. So you're going to repeat this process with your second snow globe. This time I am going to use the glass candle holder. I'm adding my snow and I am also adding my glitter. This time I'm going to use silver glitter and then I'll be adding my water and then gluing on the base of the snow globe.
Once you finish adding your base to your snow globe, I highly suggest you add a sealing layer of hot glue to the bottom of it. And this will just prevent any leaking of the water once you have your snow globe sitting upright. And here is the finished snow globes. As you can see, the snow does not float like they normally do in a regular snow globe. For some reason, I'm guessing maybe these particles were too big. I maybe should have cut them a little bit more. But I love how you can see these flecks of the gold and the silver from the glitter. It really just adds a different element to the snow globes and when you do shake them up the snow particles do move around they just do eventually settle back up at the top of the snow globe but overall I really enjoyed making these snow globes and I think that they're really pretty if I make them again I wouldn't add the snow I would just add glitter and I would actually play around with different colors of glitter just to see what effect that gives it So leave me a comment down below letting me know how you guys like the snow globes. If this is something that you would make for the holidays, they would make really pretty centerpiece, centerpieces. And, and leave me a comment down below letting me know which of the Christmas DIYs have been your favorite so far. Please also hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with a friend. All right, my loves, thank you for joining me for another video. I really appreciate everybody who's been sticking with me, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and telling your friends about us. The DIY Clubbers continue to grow. Make sure you stick around for our end of the year video. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day. And always keep creating. Alright. Talk to you guys next week. Later.